Hi everyone, I wanted to share with you an old project that I've made some new changes to. And this project was a solar tracker that's about, it's at least two years old. And it's been working great. The, uh, the motor and, and all the mechanisms have been working perfectly. But um, I was using a computer, a laptop, to run all the systems, uh, my aquaponics and all that. And I'm not using that right now. So I needed a way to run the solar tracker without using so much electricity. The uh, laptop was using about 40 watts, uh, which is way too much to, uh, for the, my small panels that I had. So um, I just got into the Arduinos, which you know I know a lot of you guys out there probably have a lot of experience with it, but not me. And um, I'm really excited about it. So this is my first project is to run my solar tracker on this Arduino uh, little micro computer. And what I did was I made, I'm sure, the, the simplest of simple uh, program sketches and the way that I control it. So um, I'm going to share that with you right now, just showing you how it worked, going through the processes, and, and I'm going to put in the link, uh, links to the uh, original videos in the description, and that'll take you to the videos that show you exactly how to make all these, uh, all these components. I'll say the most important part of of the solar tracker, the, the biggest safety feature are these limit switches and this being able to physically shut off the solar tracker when it gets reaches its uh, maximum travel either east or west and this thing is is really what keeps you from having big problems and, and it also makes it easier when you're doing the programming and uh, doing the tracking because you don't have to worry about it overextending or doing anything crazy that, that could break break anything. Even if the relays are still activated that are sending power to the motor, those, re those uh, limit switches disconnect the power. So it's a great safety feature and a, and a great way to uh, make sure you don't mess anything up. Now I use these double pole relays and what they do is that allows me to switch the positive and negative going to the motor and then those are operated by a small two relay card that you can get um, Wherever you buy your Arduino, you can buy these cards. These are Arduino compatible. And this is my Arduino Uno. And I mount those both in my control box, which I'll leave a link uh, in the description down below and uh, shows you how I built my control box. And then I use spacers to space those off of the platform that I attach it to and just allow air circulation so the board can't get too hot or anything can get behind there and short something out. Um, leave a little air, air space. These are my connections for my limit switches or the brown wires and then I have my other connections for the motor and the solar panel. Everything gets run through fuses. Those fuses make sure that uh, if there are any accidents, crossing wires, whatever, that saves any components from getting fried. So here's everything hooked up. Arduino's hooked up. Now I use a 400 watt um, inverter and then that's what runs my AC components. I'm still running my pond pump for my fish and a couple other components. Now the way I do the Arduino, and, and some of you guys may think this is uh, crazy, but uh, I actually turn the Arduino on and off to reset it. And so in, in other words, I use this timer to turn it on at about nine o'clock in the morning. And then my Arduino runs through about a six hour uh, program and that's what runs the, the track it will actually tracks the, um, the panels through the, uh, through the day and then it shuts off at night and when you shut off the Arduino and then you turn it back on it resets to the, to the beginning again now here is the actual sketch I'm showing you this so you guys can copy it and see exactly what I'm doing it's really simple I actually took the blink program and modified it and that's that's how I got the system. So it tracks uh, eight milliseconds. It tracks uh, one, yeah, yeah, eight milliseconds. It tracks like 12 times during the day, every 25 minutes roughly. Uh, and I got it all figured out with the uh, calculator, to the, the mathematics. But and then at the end of the day, it waits a, a few hours and it tracks tracks back to the uh, to the east. So here it is, actually with a time lapse showing you tracking during the day. And 
and then when it gets dark, it will reset back to the other side. Okay, so I've been running this for two weeks with no problems. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. And like always, thanks for watching.